What happens if you boil 5O2 glue in water? To start, someone fetched a large bucket of seawater from the beach. Curious about what boiling seawater would yield, they poured it into a pot and began simmering it over high heat. After half an hour, white residue began forming on the sides of the pot. Once all the seawater evaporated, the pot was coated with a thick layer of white granules, salt extracted from the seawater. This experiment was a clear reminder of why seawater is undrinkable. Next, they decided to experiment with their girlfriend's nail polish. Without hesitation, all the nail polish was poured into the pot, creating a colorful mess. As the liquid started to dry, something unexpected happened. Flames suddenly burst out of the pot, giving them quite a scare. Undeterred, they moved on to pouring 50 bottles of correction fluid into the pot. This time, the boiling wasn't as dramatic, with the liquid appearing to thicken instead. But just as they felt triumphant, flames erupted again, proving that neither nail polish nor correction fluid should be exposed to high temperatures. Finally, they purchased a large bottle of 502 glue for the ultimate experiment. They emptied the glue into the pot, which looked just like ordinary water. Turning up the heat, the pot soon began to emit thick smoke accompanied by a foul odor. Thankfully, this time there was no fire, and the glue simply dried out. Surprisingly, the dried residue didn't stick firmly to the pot and could easily be peeled off by hand. These fascinating experiments reveal the unexpected reactions of everyday materials under heat. Proceed with caution if you try anything similar.